It isn't the other party that Newt Gingrich has to worry about tonight. The candidate for the Republican presidential nomination has some of the biggest names in his own party turning against him. Dean Reynolds is with the former Speaker of the House in Florida. In Mount Dora today, it was Gingrich against the GOP. Remember, the Republican establishment is just as much an establishment as the Democratic establishment, and they are just as determined to stop us. Mitt Romney already has establishment figures like Senator John McCain and Governor Chris Christie in his corner. Today, former GOP presidential nominee Bob Dole, the Senate Majority Leader when Gingrich was Speaker of the House, underlined his support for Romney in a letter that contained this on Gingrich. If Gingrich is the nominee, Dole wrote, it will have an adverse impact on Republican candidates running for county, state, and federal offices. Hardly anyone who served with Newt in Congress has endorsed him, and that fact speaks for itself. In a recent interview with Rita Braver for CBS Sunday Morning, Dole elaborated. He's a very bright, very articulate. He's a good debater. But I found it very difficult to work with. Do you think he's got any chance to be president? I hope not. <laughs> More than 70 current members of Congress have endorsed Romney compared to 11 who are for Gingrich. Trent Lott succeeded Dole as majority leader and was a Republican senator from Mississippi when Gingrich was speaker. He knows uh, how to touch the, the right hot buttons and uh, on the stump. He's good. you got to give him credit for that. I just don't think that's what we need in a president. With such party establishment opposition, Gingrich now sees little choice but to cast his lot with the Tea Party movement and style himself as an insurgent battling against the old order. Make no bones about it. This is a campaign for the very nature of the Republican Party and the very opportunity for a citizen conservatism to defeat the power of money and to prove that people matter more than Wall Street and that people matter more than all the big companies that are pouring the cash in to run the ads that are false. And that's a point we're likely to hear tonight at the debate, Scott, where we're told the audience will be encouraged to applaud if it wants to. Five days to Election Day there. Thanks very much, Dean.